CPAC's coming up. Aren't you excited? And uh, recently, and that stands for the Conservative Political Action Conference, and recently Matt Schlapp, the chairman, in the wake of Mitt Romney's vote to convict Donald Trump uh, of one of the articles of impeachment, abuse of power, Schlapp disinvited Mitt Romney and was asked why on Greta Van Susteren's show, and this is a crazy response. <laughs> you have disinvited or won't permit uh, Mitt Romney to speak at CPAC. That's right. Why? Uh, we won't credential him as a conservative. I suppose if he wants to come as a non-conservative and debate an issue with us, maybe in the future we would have him come. This year, I would actually be afraid for his physical safety. People are so mad at him. Uh, I think the biggest problem we have with Mitt Romney is not that he's just an individual following his political course. It's the fact that he's lied so continuously to conservatives. He's a use him and lose him kind of guy. When he needs a conservative like Donald Trump to endorse him in his Senate primary last time, he wanted him in. Right to Utah. But then when he gets the Senate job, he wants to distance himself from Trump. A lot to unpack there. Let's get to it. Uh, he thinks that the reason he disinvited, there's a lot of reasons why he disinvited Mitt Romney, but one is he feared for Romney's physical safety at the conservative conference. He feared for the safety of the presence of the party's one time presidential nominee. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty amazing that he's openly admitting that the sort of people who go to CPAC might try to murder a senator with their bare hands. Mm -hmm. That's something. I also I love the idea that it, he said they're not going to credential him. They're not not they're not going to credential him as a speaker. They're not going to credential him as a senator. They're not going to credential him as a conservative. What does that even mean? That means if he's not going to rubber stamp everything that the president does, then mm -hmm. he can't be part of the group. Mm -hmm. Like it just shows you that there's no autonomy or independent thinking or thought, or maybe even adhering to your own morals, principles, ethics. Mm -hmm. That no, it's that you just fall in line and just do your job. And I, my favorite thing too is like, is I would fear for his safety. And now let me go on for two minutes about what a snake he is, <laughs> that liar. Right. You know why I fear for his safety? Because of people like me in the media telling you why he's such a liar. Yeah, and 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 that's it's not just him. Donald Trump went after him at a prayer breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, it is. Is that not what you normally do at a prayer breakfast? At a normally at a prayer breakfast, there's hella pancakes mm -hmm. and like sausages and like revenge and, and like unexplainably bagels and cream cheese, which is a little, little appropriative. Um, but just to remind you, I mean, I guess we don't have time to play it. But when Romney gave his reasoning, mm -hmm. all of his reasoning made sense and was largely anchored in his faith, which I actually do believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, and he is the one, maybe he has six years to make it up or four years at this point and people can forget it because he just got elected five years. But uh, it is it is real strange. You can't think of someone who's more conservative in a traditional for the last yep. 25 years person than Mitt Romney, aside from his like specific branch of religion thing. Yeah, I just I think it's like a perfect symbolic thing that they have their new Republican Party, which is Trump and horrible people like Trump, generally related to Trump. But that's not enough. They also have to burn in effigy the past Republican Party, that's which right. Romney really exemplifies like you know George W Bush was you know a slightly different type but like Romney was very like the 90s Republican nominees and they just can't have that anymore they don't want that walking around reminding them of the time before they worshiped the sky at the time they were laying all the groundwork for where they are now that's the thing is like at the time that they were running all these candidates they were they were I don't know. I just want to leave you with this one image really quickly as we say thank you for watching. Um, here is oh. Bikers for Trump's image of Trump. <laughs> oh my I know God. someone in my family posted this uh. and I could not believe it. Sorry to do that to you. Don't miss your chance to win a trip to Los Angeles and have dinner with Jenk, Anna, and me. Just head to tyt.com slash dinner in LA to register to win. Sign up for a free aspiration spend and save account. Register your eligibility. Swipe your aspiration card on daily purchases to gain entries to win a chance to fly to LA and have dinner with the TYT hosts. Not only are you entering to win that dinner in LA with Jank and Anna and myself, but you're also able to deposit your hard earned money without it going towards fossil fuel exploration or production. And as a friendly reminder, even if you already have an aspiration account, you must still first register to be eligible for the sweepstakes.